This is a 2012 Range Rover Sport. Um, pretty decent condition when it came in, but very, very heavily swirled. And then whoever takes care of the car regularly, as far as car washes and maybe wax jobs, you know, did a clay bar job. And many people don't realize that when you clay bar a car, at least my policy is a clay bar has to be followed by a polish, even if it's a light polish because the clay bar will leave some damage behind. And when I say damage, not like scratching your paint, but it does, it leaves marring in the paint. Um, sometimes compare it to almost a light, a very light wet sanding almost, if you look at the texture in the paint uh, that's left behind after a clay bar job. And of course there are different levels of clay bars, uh, but very mild to medium to a very aggressive. So I don't know what this gel had used, but you know, the paint did not look good. So anyway, this is a daily driver, nothing special. I mean, Sue is an owner, loves the car, but not something, you know, that's a show car or anything beyond just being a daily driver. And once he met me, he did want to, you know, have the car look much, much better after I did his Porsche prior to this car. So I did a one-step correction. So the car is far from perfect, you know, of course, did a thorough interior cleaning as well. Um, and like I said, if the, there are some deeper scratches in the paint that will not come out. And unfortunately, there's a cloud now in front of the sun, so that takes away from me zooming in onto the paint. But uh, again, I, I, I took plenty of before and after videos and pictures of how badly swirled everything really was. So, you know, the car, except for some obvious signs of, of it being an eight-year-old daily driver, looks so, so much better than it did when he brought it in. And he'll be picking it up soon, and I'm hoping that uh, you know, he'll, be, he'll be happy with the results. And, um, yeah, so another one in the books for, you know, being, uh, having been semi-restored as far as the paint goes until it becomes the sun again. So that gives a much better idea also of the gloss factor because the gloss factor wasn't there because of all the swirling and, uh, and marring in the paint. And of course white can be, uh, you see the, the camera getting blurry because white becomes so overpowering. Let me get it back into focus. There you go.